burning at the stake was used for centuries in England and Wales as a punishment for heresy and other crimes. It was used to punish men and women, and in particular women who were also convicted of high treason or petty treason. Women avoided the brutal hanging, drawing and quartering, but instead were burned at the stake. High treason, the offence which could be used to sentence someone to death, consisted of a number of things, from plotting to execute the monarch, to simply counterfeiting money. It's a punishment mostly associated with Bloody Mary I, the Tudor monarch who gained her nickname due to the burning of Protestants at the stake. But it was outlawed as a method of execution in 1790. But who was the last woman to be burned at the stake in Britain? Join us today to look at the brutal execution of Catherine Murphy. And remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Burning at the stake was most prominently used during the reign of Mary I to punish religious criminals. But it has been used for centuries. For example, during the 100 Years' War, Joan of Arc was burned at the behest of English officials. But it was during the 18th century that the final burning took place in England. Catherine Murphy on the 18th of March 1789 found herself executed in this manner. She was seen as an English counterfeiter and little is known about her life. But it's assumed that along with her husband, the pair involved in handling counterfeit coins, which was in a sense treason and was technically stealing from the monarchy. On the morning of the 18th of March 1789 at Newgate Prison, there were eight executions scheduled for that morning. Catherine Murphy and her husband Hugh had been found guilty of coining or coin clipping at the Old Bailey in London and had been sentenced to death in the previous September. She and eight other men, including her husband, were condemned to death and were due to be executed on that March morning. The other men had been convicted of other offences. The men were all executed via hanging at Newgate Prison, which was a prominent place of execution within London. As Catherine was a woman, the law at the time stated that she should be burned at the stake and not hanged instead. Because of the preparation involved in this, Catherine was brought out after the men were hanged and was made to walk past the hanging bodies of those, including her husband, and was then made to stand on a specially constructed foot-high 10 square inch platform in front of a stake. Catherine was then tied to the stake with ropes and an iron ring, and she was told to say her final prayers. The executioner in charge, William Brunskill, then prepared the fire and lit the fire beneath the stake. It was said by the Sheriff of London who witnessed the proceedings that he had given instruction that she should be strangled to death before her body was burned. It was said that one rope was placed around her neck, and the platform was taken under her feet, leaving her suspended by her neck and hanging. This was 30 minutes before the fire was lit, but Catherine had already died and because of this, it's considered that she was not actually burned alive. However, Catherine Murphy was the last person to have received the sentence to be burned at the stake and was officially executed in this manner, despite being strangled beforehand. Her execution was used as a case to move the law on to eradicate burning at the stake as a method of execution. Little is known about Catherine Murphy's life before, However, she has gone down in history as the last woman burned at the stake in the eyes of the law. It was an incredibly brutal method of execution that was very distressing for the public to see, despite the crowds usually flocking to witness public executions. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.